Thanks, Jenna. Bill McDonald from the Winnipeg Humane Society joining us now with thing one. First of all, is there a thing two? Uh, no. As far <laughs> as I know, thing two might have got adopted. I'm not sure. So we got one thing here, thing one. one thing, yes. He's very, very sweet. So tell us about this guy. This guy is up for adoption. He's a little boy. He's been spayed and neutered and ready to go. He's in our adoptions. And as you said earlier, I think he's probably two to three months old and Aww. ready to find a nice home. Very interesting he, coat, this guy. He, yeah, he's a little thin. He could uh, do with a little bit more food, but he's a nice cat. His motor is just going here. Yeah, non -stop Guests can't purring. hear, but he is purring, purring, purring. And he would be great. He is fairly energetic. We had him playing, and he seems really like interactive, which is great for yeah. someone that wants to play with their cat. He won't be there on Monday. No? No. That's good. You're going to go find a home thing, one. <laughs> well, we want to talk to about something that's very timely and very important right now. Over the long weekend, there was a really unfortunate situation with a Winnipeg family who had two of their dogs poisoned at right. a Seven Oaks Park. One of them actually passed away. The other is getting treatment. $3,000 in vet bills. And mm -hmm. that is where pet insurance comes in. Yes, we offer an adoptions uh, package. You can activate free pet insurance for six weeks and then it's an option to purchase it for ongoing uh, time. And you know, in this day and age with the expense of veterinary clinics, mm -hmm. it's actually a very wise thing to do. And uh, as you just mentioned, when you get a $3,000 vet bill, yeah. uh, a monthly insurance payment of 20 to $30 is not that outrageous. And considering that today, uh, for example, a tooth extraction usually starts around $250, uh, yeah. it doesn't take long to get the bills going up. No, it adds up very quickly. Look or the cat's guy. going away. <laughs> How much fun is he? He loves to play this guy. What He's are you adorable. doing? But yeah, it's just about being prepared in case of emergency situations exactly. because that is, you know, an unusual situation, but any sort of emergency can well, come up. Car accidents, dog gets out, runs across the street, uh, things like that. Yeah. And then, you know, the unfortunate things, but even just the, the, uh, the regular yearly vet stuff, you know, as your dog gets older, teeth become an issue and yeah. so on. Definitely. Well, it's good to be prepared. We have all the links up on breakfasttelevision.ca for how you can find out more about getting pet insurance for your little guys. And also, this time of year, things are starting to heat up, taking the dogs out in the car, but yes. it can be very dangerous. Yes, Courtney. We just want to caution all your viewers that as, as the weather gets warmer, taking your dog in the car is an option, but don't leave them in the car. And that's our message. Uh, it doesn't take long, and it can get over 40 degrees in as little as 15 minutes when it's 25 degrees outside. And so last summer we had a record number of, of dogs in cars calls. Oh. So this summer we hope we don't have that kind of work to do because it's very serious. It doesn't take long for your dog to get quite ill uh, in locked in these hot cars. Well, and even days like today, we're gonna reach 20 degrees, doesn't seem excessively warm, but inside that closed exactly. car, it gets real hot real fast. Very much And so. on that note, when you are taking your animals out, make sure you're taking water for your dog. Exactly, if you're going on any hikes out to Birds Hill or just around the city, uh, dogs need to be drinking water as they're exercising in this warmer weather. Excellent advice for gearing up for the summer season and going out with your pets. And if you want Thing One to be Thing your one. new best friend, you can find him at the Winnipeg Humane Society, 45 Hearst Way. He's grown tired of our tricks. There we go. <laughs> he is so cute. Tons of energy, just a little babe looking for a home. You can find him at the shelter today. Thank you so much, Bill. Thank you. We're taking a quick break here on BT. More coming up.